Hey. hey, how are you? Oh, how are you doing today? Good. Good to see you. What's going on with Yuki? At about 4.30 last night, I walked out in the back. She was throwing up, and I noticed there was two pieces of her toys that she ate okay. on the floor. Got it. Now, she's regular on food. Between 5 and 5.30, she's already nagging me. It's time to feed. I'm putting the food down. She didn't even come near it. Right. So I kind of, like, encouraged her. She ate a few pieces, and then she threw up. OK. So got dressed this morning, and brought her in. You've had her since she was a puppy? Yes. We got her and her brother. She's the uh, dominant one. She's she like, the dominant? Yes. Her toys are her toys. When I come in the house with a toy, she knows it's hers, and she takes it. You know, if she's the dominant one, then if her and her brother were playing with something, she's like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this. Right. So she took it from him and made sure she kept it. Mm -hmm. You know, she probably tried to wolf it down. Mm -hmm. Has Yuki eaten anything before? She tears her toys apart, and sometimes she'll eat the stuffing, and she'll pass it. So she is known to eat things. Mm -hmm. When she was a puppy, uh -huh. we got her on the skateboard. Uh -huh. But as she's riding it, she's eating it. She ate the skateboard? Yeah. While riding? While riding it. You're not supposed to eat and ride. It was a, a wooden skateboard, so. Was it mesquite? I guess. I don't know. I didn't taste it. Basically, when we have the history of a dog that is known and notorious to eat things, mm -hmm. we have to assume that there's a foreign object there. Mm -hmm. If we're vomiting and we found some pieces outside with some vomit, mm -hmm. we are facing the chance that whatever made it in this time isn't going to make its way out. Let me run her back for some x-rays. Okay. So the way x-rays work is they work on a density. If Yuki ate my ring, I would see a solid ring sitting right in there. If we eat a sock, you can't really say for sure because it's soft tissue. So it could just look like the stomach's got right. a thickened layer to it because she's been vomiting. Mm -hmm. But because we have the symptoms, we know the history, we're a bulldog. I have to truly be concerned that there is an issue. Mm -hmm. So once I look at the x-rays, I'm going to see if I can say, yeah, she hasn't eaten, so her stomach should be empty. Right. She vomited, so her stomach should definitely be empty. Why is there still something in the stomach? We do what we got to do. OK. She's, she's top priority right now. We're going to get you better here, baby, OK? You're going to be feeling better in no time. I'm going to need some x-rays on Yuki. Let's do a two-view abdomen. Her mom thinks she swallowed a toy. Let's see what we got. OK. Oh, wow. Look at all of this. Oh, Yuki. She's really got it this time. OK, so let me start just by here. In the stomach, there's a large gas opacity here between these two sections, meaning mm -hmm. like like just, it's just dilated. Mm -hmm. Typically meaning that the gas isn't moving or it could potentially be trapped because of the lack of movement of the intestines. The other thing is there's a soft tissue opacity right here. It's the smaller part of the stomach on its way out into the intestines. Mm -hmm. It appears to be full and thickened, and it shouldn't be because there shouldn't be food in there because we've been vomiting mm -hmm. and we're not eating. So I'm not 100% sure. And as I mentioned, with soft tissue opacity, you can never be 100%. Right. But I am concerned that there is a foreign body in here. You know your dog and what you think is best. We can do what's called an exploratory. It's the best because you can literally get your hands on every piece of the intestines, the stomach, other organs in the, in the abdomen. It is invasive. It's done by surgery. From how she's been acting, there, there's got to be something more in there. You know, we can get Yuki set up here. Great. Uh, and we'll do this, because okay. I don't want this to fester for her. Oh, yeah, no. I don't want to take a chance of waiting and losing her like that. My patient, Yuki, may have swallowed one of her toys. So we're going to go in and do an exploratory surgery to search her GI tract. You don't always see it directly on x-ray. With something that's soft, for example, this towel, 
you may not ever see it, but it could be blocking up with the intestinal tract and causing a lot of damage. So in this case, we would be going into the abdomen and exploring what is inside of it. I'm gonna start this a little high so we can get good into the abdomen. It allows me to visualize a little bit better. So we're just gonna start at the stomach. Oh boy. Uh-oh. There's definitely something here in the stomach. You can see how the stomach is very flabby here. Mm -hmm. And then when you get over here, something's sitting inside the stomach. I can't compress the stomach. It's pretty large as well. Definitely something cloth-based. And what I need to do is trace that to make sure it's not going, oh boy. What is it doing? That's not good. Oh we my. A, looks well, like we got a linear foreign body. So linear foreign bodies, for example, there's a string attached here. It anchors and then it threads itself down, but it can't move. So it starts to pull part of the intestine. So you get an accordion look. It should be very smooth like the rest of this. You can see here it's all scrunched up. You have to be very gentle with this because if I pull this, I could rupture or lacerate through this part of the intestine. See if I'm able to pull this up through the stomach. Poor Yuki. Why you do your stuff like this, Yuki? Dogs will do some amazing things sometimes. I'm seeing if I can move it now. Oh my goodness. I just need to pull it really slow so I don't damage anything coming out. Got it. Oh my gosh, what is that? It looks like a sock or a rope yeah. to it. Yeah, right now I'm just closing up the stomach. You know, if we didn't do this surgery, this could have probably been fatal for Yuki. You got it from here? Yep. Good job. Good job, Dr. Blue.